Now let's apply these findings to our permanent magnet systems, looking at the permanent magnet in a quite different way. On this board, I've drawn out the lines of force as they would appear from a bar magnet there. But I've drawn them out in electric wire, because instead of a source of magnetomotive force, I'm going to use a battery, which is a source of electromotive force. I'm going to measure the current flow in these lines on this meter. When I switch on the battery, we're now measuring the current in all the wires together. Now remember that air is a bad conductor of magnetism. So these are high resistance wires. In this context, steel would be a good conductor, so it's represented by this piece of copper. When I put the copper down on the wires, the current increases because I'm short circuiting some of the high resistance parts. And as I slide it round towards the pole, I'm covering more and more wires so the current continues to increase. The law of nature is such that it will always try to reduce the reluctance of the external circuit. And this is the rule we shall now use in place of the rule of magnetic poles. And we can use it to explain all the phenomena of magnets which we saw earlier.